Don't fall off the edge. Um, but Allison was kind of a whore, to put it that way. Uh, I had some experiences with her that were a bit different than the other girlfriends, to say the least. <laughs> uh, go up there. Go that way. Go. Go. I don't want to hit my head. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's put a saddle on this guy. And we'll take him. But, uh, so, yeah, me and Allison, um, we went out for maybe two or three months, uh, and then she actually cheated on me. Uh, she didn't really cheat, I mean, she kissed another dude. That, to me, that's cheating, but, um, I don't know. It, it wasn't really like I was planning on marrying her, like I said. I got into her background, but she said she really, really liked me, so I'm like, oh, no. Oh, don't fall off the edge. This is, like, super dangerous. Should I just push him? He's gonna fall. Okay. So, um, you know, me and Allison, we went out for a while. Uh, and at the time, I'd been playing baseball uh, for the high school uh, since freshman year. To, I played all four years, but... Uh, so, let's see. That takes us to, like, junior... Or freshman year. Okay, so it's freshman year still. I went out with those two girls. Not, I didn't really hear anything from Jesse for a while. Uh, she was. Oh, I want to. Come on, get down. I want to. I want to be able to put a saddle on you. There we go. So, um, you know, well, I didn't have a girl girlfriend for sophomore year, and from like halfway through junior year, I started working at Kmart. Uh, about sophomore year, right? And uh, there was a girl there named Amber. Well, Amber went to the same school, and she had, we actually had a ton in common because she played on the softball team, and I played on the baseball team, so we saw each other basically every single day after school, during school. So there was a lot there, you know? It was it was pretty crazy. And uh, so me and... Oh, oh, I thought that was a chest. I was like, holy crap. So me and Amber decided to go to prom together, and then... Uh, we actually started dating, um, and Amber, let's just put it this way, she was a dummy, like a dumbass, dumb, dumb, dumb face, whatever you want to call it. Like, to graduate, um, our school system, uh, at the time, there was these things called the proficiency tests, and the proficiency tests, you had to pass all five of the, the class ones or whatever, and then you were able to graduate. Like, if you didn't pass them, you didn't graduate. It was plain and simple. You had four years in high school to pass them. Uh, sometimes they even let you um, mess with them in middle school. So uh, she didn't pass the math one, so she didn't get to graduate. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I was trying to be nice about it, but I didn't really know what to say because it was her own fault for not studying. And if she would ask me for help, I'm actually really, really good at math. And if she would have asked me, I would have helped. But, <clears throat> so, that kind of ended that relationship. <laughs> so, it's senior year. I'm working at Kmart. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call from my cousin, Destiny. Destiny goes to school with Jesse. So, Jesse had been going out with this guy named Rich. Uh, apparently, he was, like, some big football player and, like... What is up with the ravines? Holy crap. Maybe that's the same one we found. But uh, I guess he was some big football player. Well, when they went to college, because, you know, this is the end of senior year, pretty much. Uh, when they went to college, he found another girl. and was just like, eh, fuck you, pretty much, after like five years together or something like that. So she was pretty heartbroken. Um, you know, we just kind of started talking again. It wasn't anything, like, super serious. Actually, you know what? I skipped something. I'm sorry. Um, when Amber broke up with me, um, like, that's when Destiny called me and was like, well, Jesse had a dream about you and all kinds of stuff. I'm like, all right. Um, we're going to take one of these noble steeds and, uh, we're going to ride them around just to see if we can find anything. Um, F3, F2, there we go. So, um, you know... I had gotten in contact with Jesse, and we were kind of hanging out. She had her mom's car at this time, so we could actually see each other. Woo! It was crazy, right? I know. Um, okay. Can, oh, can they not? Uh, I guess they can't. Okay. I need him to come to the edge. I'm going to have to push him, aren't I? I didn't think about that. I need, a, I need some leads is what I need. There we go. 
the... Oh, no, I don't want to go back in the water. No. Okay. So, I don't know if I can get over there or not. I think right there will work. Maybe not. Oh. I was pushing. It'll be okay. There we go. So, you know... And so, I had talked to Jesse again. And like I said, she's been like my girlfriend like six times by now. Al, trying to get out of here. Uh, there we go. So I'm just, I'm kind of looking around here. Um, can I run? Not really. It's kind of laggy too. But um, yeah. So at the time, this is a big plains. Holy crap! Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be the only one on Blackfield that has a horse. I gotta be careful because there's a ton of ravines around here. I was kind of maybe hoping to find a village. Alright. Alright, I, I would say that's good enough. Let's turn around. Oh, we almost lost. We almost died right there. Okay. How did I get across there? I'm lost. Oh, we went across over there, I think. I'm sorry, little guy. Or big guy. Uh... Oh, it's official. I'm lost. Uh, I'm going to look at my screenshot real fast. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep talking while I do this. But, um, so, you know, it's the end of senior year. Um, Jessie's, uh, you know, she's going to a local college. I was going to a local college. So, at the time, um, me and Jenny actually started dating because I had stopped talking to Jessie again. Uh, she, what she, what had happened that time, <laughs> when I say that time is because, uh, let's see, we were at 1700-1590. Um, she had got her wisdom teeth taken out, and I think it's just straight over here. Uh, she got her wisdom teeth taken out, and uh, she was on some pretty heavy drugs at the time because she was, I guess it apparently was really painful. And I caught her, and her mom's like, yeah, she had her wisdom teeth taken out, so it's going to be like a week before she calls you. And I kind of just never heard back from her. Um, which, I mean, kind of goes both ways. She could have called me, I could have called her again, but I didn't. Uh, and at the time, Philip, uh, my best friend now... Uh, which one do we want to ride home, guys? I want to ride the white one home. There we go. Uh, but yeah, Philip. Uh, so we need to go to uh, 250. So basically, if we just keep going this way, we'll be good. Um, but yeah, I'll come back for those guys in a little while. Probably not this video, that's for sure. Um, but Philip was on leave for the Marines, and they, him and his girlfriend at the time, the one they got divorced, uh, they were going to Kings Island. Kings Island is an amusement park. Uh, actually, most notably, they had the first wooden roller coaster in the world. Uh, first wooden roller coaster that had a loop, I should say. But it got like they, they wrecked and like hurt people and shit, so they took it down. Uh, just to be a, uh, be clear, I'm terrified of roller coasters, but I went anyways just because Philip needed a wingman. Never leave your best friend out. You always gotta make sure that you have their back, no matter what, because if you ever need them, then they'll be there for you. So, that's how that works, by the way. Best friend, can't leave him hanging. Gotta, gotta go, no matter what. So, I actually met Jenny that night, and that was kind of a terrible idea. I'm hoping that there's land. Can I go across here? Sweet. All right. So, um, like I said, I met Jenny that night. Um, me and Jenny did hit it off. I have to say, at the time, I didn't know Jenny was such a biatch, but <laughs> she was terrible, man. Like it was bad. Uh, so you know, uh, I didn't really ask Jenny for her phone number or anything. Like I said, I wasn't really sure that I wanted to go out with her or not. Um, I had heard some things about Jenny. Like, you know, just saying that she was mean and stuff. And because she was kind of a stuck up, you know, her mom's rich, she thinks she's rich type deal. But, uh, come on, horsey. You can do it. There we 
we go. Um, so yeah, I heard a lot of things about Ginny. So I didn't really ask for her phone number. I wasn't too interested. Um, I hope we're going the right way. We should be. Yeah, we're going the right way. Um, but I think we need to go back. We need to be able to make sure that we... Uh, there's got to be land here that we crossed, you know. Let's go up this way some. Yeah, I've been here before too because there's torches there. Pretty sure I came cave in here. Yeah, there we go. Easy. <laughs> um, so, you know, me and Ginny, we kind of hit it off a little bit. Um, I didn't ask for a phone number or anything, but apparently Mallory gave her my phone number. So, um, she texts me and she's like, hey, and it was like, I didn't reply back for a while, I guess, because at the time, I, our school was on year round schedule. So we went for six or seven or eight weeks, I think. And then we had, uh, two weeks off. So I was on my two week break. And I was sleeping in. You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to sleep in. Whatever. So, uh, she texts me. I text her back like four hours later. She's like, what, are you mad or something? I'm like, I was sleeping. It was like noon. <laughs> and she had been in school since like eight apparently. But, you yeah, know, whatever. Who cares? I'm hoping I can... I feel like I'm going the wrong way, like, honestly. No! Um, how do we... We're going to have to break the ice here. Oh, no, he just jumped right up there. How about that? How are we going to get over there? How the hell did I get over there in the first time? Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, we kind of hung out a couple times. What was me and Jenny's first date? I'm trying to think. I think we went bowling. And apparently she was really good at bowling because she was, like, on the school bowling team and stuff. And I still kind of whooped that ass, but... Hey, you know, you know, play it. You know, I got to do my own thing. No, uh, I'm a very competitive person, so. I'm trying to figure out. We need to be going this way, actually, because it's like, yeah, we're way off, actually. We are going the wrong way. All right, um, I'm going to go back around. So, yeah, um, me and Jenny kind of, uh, kind of start hanging out more and more, um, and at the time, I wasn't I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to ask her out or not. And you know, and by the way, if you are new or if you don't have very much experience with girls, if you're not sure if you want to ask a girl out, don't ask her out. It's a bad idea. Trust me, because <laughs> then you end up with people like Jenny. <laughs> so um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to ask her out or not. Um, man, I feel like I missed it somewhere because we have to go back over that way apparently. Um, so yeah, like I said, I asked her out, um, on New Year's Eve, honestly, and it was like all romantic and everything, and yeah, so, you know, it wasn't too bad for a while, but then it got really bad. Where the hell am I? Did I really swim across the ocean? <sighs> hmm, I wish I would load. I think we need to get over there. As long as we jump in, he'll he'll start swimming. They float. Yeah, we gotta get over there. So let's just push him over there. No, nope, go that way. This shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so sorry about F3 being up, guys, but I knew that up so I know where I'm going. Um, oh, it's almost night time. So, uh, yeah. Um, I asked Jenny out on New Year's Eve, and um, we ended up going out for like probably three or four years and then it just came to a point where I was just like you know what dude fuck this I can't do this anymore and then one night I get a phone call from Jesse and she's like yeah I'm about to cut myself and I need you to talk me out of it and I'm like why you cut yourself for you know I'm not gonna be like don't cut yourself I'm just gonna talk her I'm just gonna talk to her you know I don't want to I don't want her to feel like she's forced to talk to, to about me or anything, you know, like that. Um, we should probably sleep. Let's go ahead and dismount this this majestic beast. Um, so, um, she was like, she was pretty suicidal. Not to the point where she was going to, like, cut her, like, throat or anything, but, like, her leg, I think, is what she was trying to cut. 
um, come on, get up on the ledge there. Um, so, yeah, she was like, I am about to cut myself, and I really need somebody to talk to. So we talked for a while. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm like, there better be land here, bro. Or I'm gonna be mad. How am I going the wrong way again? Uh. I am not doing good on this whole direction thing, am I? We need to go this way. We need to go to, like, negative 250. No wonder I'm not going... I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm a fucking retard. Okay. This looks like we need to go back over there. Sorry, guys. Sorry about this. I know it's kind of painstaking to watch me do this, but... Um, I at least need to get this one horse back. And I'll come back and get the others soon. Um, but, yeah, so... Me and me and Jenny were going out for a while, um, and I was honestly kind of getting fed up with her shit, dude. Like it was really annoying. Uh, and then Jesse calls me one night. Jesse's going to the same school, by the way. But like her mom had met, because uh, her and her mom, or her and her dad, her mom and dad, herp derp, got divorced, and uh, so her mom had actually met another guy, and they had moved uh, like maybe a city or two away. Think. It wasn't too far, because we live in a pretty, like, suburban area. You know, there's cities right next to each other. It's not, like, miles and miles away from each other. Let's go over this way. Because we need to go up around this hill here. Um, so, like, I hadn't heard from her for a while, because she was, like, pretty far away. Plus, she, I think she had a boyfriend. I'm not exactly sure. So, one night, she calls me. And she's like, yeah, I'm about to, like, cut myself, and I really, really need somebody to talk to. And I'm like, all right, well, let's just chat for a while. And at the time, I was in school, and I was... The one thing you should always do, no matter what, when you're in college, take night classes. I don't even care what you say. Morning classes? Terrible idea. All right, so... So we gotta go this way. Yeah, we're definitely going the right way. Now I just gotta get up there. Ugh. Come on. I know you can go up right there. Can I break stuff while I'm on him? Okay. Let's use our shovel. There we go. Yeah, we're going the right way now. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, I get a call from her. And so she's like, I'm about to cut myself. And I'm like, you know, just, just relax, you know. I'm here to talk to you. It's okay. And it was one of those phone calls to where you think it's going to be kind of maybe a short call, you know. You talk him out of it, go to bed. We talked for seven hours. <laughs> and, and it wasn't like bad conversation. It was just kind of, you know, reminiscing and talking about the past and things like that. And it was, it was a really good phone call. I hadn't really talked on the phone like that in a really long time. We are stuck. Um, I gotta think I can break this. There we go. Alright, so yeah, but like I said, I really haven't talked on the phone like that in a while. And, you know, it after that night, it was kind of every single night, it was I really need to talk to somebody. And, um... It was, it was pretty crazy, like, and how things click so fast when somebody's in need like that, and so, like, it was kind of like we had never even broke up, really. Um, she was like, I'm really bored, do you want to hang out? And I'm like, well, I'm kind of still going out with Jenny. <laughs> and, you know, at this time, I'm like, fuck Jenny, because, you know, I had had way more experience with Jesse. And so, uh, hold on. go up there, go, 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 um... There we go. Get on my horsey. Back this way. Alright, so, um, I really gotta find a new biome to go through. This is gonna be a pain in the butt if I have to go through a jungle or this thing the entire time. Um, hopefully I can get out of here. There we go. Oh god. Ooh, Jesus. Let's go over there. So, um, yeah, we, the one night she was like, I'm really bored, and, you know, it's like, it's, I like talking to you on the phone, but is there any way we can just, like, hang out, maybe, go to a store or something? 
So we ended up going to Myers, and I was still going out with Jenny, which was really weird because I kind of felt like I was cheating almost, but I really wasn't. Nothing even happened. You know, we just talked, uh, hung out, and got a, a milkshake because it was awesome. Uh, so after that night, we kind of started hanging out more and more, and um, me and Jenny eventually, I think I broke up with Jenny. Not for her, I don't think, but, like, it was kind of a mixture. It was like, Jesse. And Ginny being a complete tool face and I hating her guts, pretty much. Uh, all of that really had a lot to do with me and Je me and Ginny breaking up. And so, um, after me and Ginny broke up, you know, Ginny's still, like, freaking out. Because I guess I was, like, probably her first serious boyfriend because she was a complete cunt face. But, um, so she would, like, call me every single day, and I just wouldn't answer. I felt bad, but I, I just wanted to, didn't want to talk to her. Um, and at the time, me and Jesse were starting to get along more and more. Uh, and at one point, I actually thought we were going to go back out together. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened, to be honest with you. Um, like, we actually kissed a couple times, and things like that, and, uh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Let's go over here. I heard a monster. Let's go up this way. Come on, little stallion. I guess I can't go up there. So, uh, yeah, like, um, we kind of kissed, and things were, it was pretty confusing between us. Like, we were, like, super good, really good friends, and, but we would kiss. And that's, it kind of confused me, but, you know, when, when you're, with someone like that, and they had been together with somebody for five years, uh, with her ex-boyfriend, I know, and they had just broken up, and she was pretty much ready to kill herself. You don't really want to ask her out. You don't want to, you don't want to pressure them, you know? So, I didn't ask her out, and then, um, jump, jump, um, by the way, guys, we are getting to Miss Ijevin very soon, um, I guess we'll just ride the side here. Trying to climb mountains and horses is annoying. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna... I think we're pretty close, yeah. I think if we just keep going this way, we'll run right into it. So, um... Yeah, uh... It came to a point to where she had actually gotten a boyfriend. Um, because we had kind of stopped talking. Uh, and what it was, was, is the school year, the college year ended. And we, like, she was kind of my ride to school for... Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta come up here and see. There should say there should be a jungle here. Um, but um, yeah, so the school year ended. We kind of kind of stopped seeing each other. I actually thought she was gonna go to uh, college in Hawaii. The school she went to was called Chaminade Julianne. I know you guys will be like Google and be like, oh my God, she lives in Dayton. Yes, I do live in Dayton, uh, and it's like a really like almost prestigious Catholic school. Um, I had to get some water. Whew, yeah, we're just about back to the house now. 